Am I the only one that thinks that it's really lame when you walk into a 99 cent only store, but then there's some things that are like $1.99? I'm like, did you just use false advertisement to get me through your doors? Because I'm pretty sure that's illegal, sir. Hey guys, welcome to my super echoey, super messy room with my super unmade bed. I was gonna film out in the garage where I keep all of my aminals, but that would require carrying these lights down there. And one of them, the battery is out in it or whatever doesn't work or something. So it's getting replaced and it has to be plugged in. So I'm too lazy for that. Let's be honest. Today's video is going to be about adding some fun stuff from the dollar store to my rat cage because they've got baskets and like all this fun stuff that I got at the dollar store in their temporary cage that I put them in when I'm cleaning their big cage and they seem to absolutely love the shit out of those baskets and all that fun stuff up there. So they're too fat to hang on some of the stuff in there. It needs to be reinforced. Reinforced. Yeah, so we're gonna take a trip to the dollar store, see what we can't do to spend a little bit of money. It'll probably cost under $20 to get some fun stuff and some zip ties to attach some baskets and some super fun stuff to their cage. It's really like an affordable, thing to do for your rat cage like after you purchase like a big expensive cage that you pretty much only have to do once you can just like rearrange things and like buy some fun stuff from the dollar store so we're gonna head to the dollar store right now and see what we find hopefully the dollar store near my house is an awesome one and has a lot of options for stuff because a lot of dollar stores that i've been to aren't as awesome but some are really great i'm just like i can't believe this is a dollar and then i spend so much money i'm like Kristen, this is a dollar store. How did you manage to spend $150? Like seriously. Let's go to the dollar store. I uh, am forcing Ryan to go with me too, so he's gonna be my camera guy. Give Ryan a thumbs up in the comments. One other note is that I will have a completely different look and outfit going on when I put these things in the cage because I'm definitely not doing that this evening. It's already like 7 p.m. Mama needs to eat. Let's go inside. Uh, I want, I Go ahead. <laughs> sure got a lot of makeup on for the 99 cent store. Wow, judge much? This is the section that I'm looking for, but there's hardly anything here. The shelves are empty. Now what? Now we... Find another dollar store, I guess. a different one, because this one sucks. Wow, fail. Well, you could take soup to work like in this or something. All right, let's go. Round two, we are trying another 99 cent store. Let's go ahead and go. I was saying go ahead and in at the same time. And I said, go ahead. And go ahead. Fingers crossed that this has what we need. This is what I'm talking about. It's not the 99 cent only store. That is false advertisement. I'm going to sue them. All right, so we got some baskets that a zip tie will go through here. This is definitely necessary for scooping up the poop that's on the liner liners. Or actually, it's more so like the litter because they're litter trained, but sometimes they kick some of the poop outside. And then I'm thinking this all hang from kind of high so that they can crawl off onto one of their levels, like into it, and it'll be hanging over like that. Just shopping for the kids at the 99 cent store. Such a cool mom. Gotta have it. Aren't you supposed to pay for that meal? I'm really dehydrated. The store is like 100 degrees in here. <gasps> Look at this. Let me just tell you a little something right now. On the pet stores, you get about half this, and it's for filling up like little ferret play areas and like rat play areas and stuff. I bet you Brixton would love this too. And these are like 20 bucks for like a bag half the size of this, and this is a dollar. Nice balls. Thank you. This is so awesome. This is like the best find ever. You know, might, might be a cool little hike too, is if I get a bigger one of these and we cut a hole in it, I'll be right back. Some exciting stuff for Arctic Cups. Photos. No, we really brought the right car today for everything that we've gotten here. Balls on balls. <laughs> it's just like filled up. Then we got like a pinata. We look like we're throwing like 
a four-year-old's like uh, reminds, birthday party. It reminds me of Dumb and Dumber <laughs> when he sends him out with his last like few dollars. He's like, just the essentials, just the essentials. Is that with a giant? <laughs> he's got like a big giant foam hat and a, like a pinata. And... Nailed it. Chunk chunk. You know what? I need to do a video introducing you guys because I haven't even done that yet, have I? That's crazy. Okay, so here's a little before of the cage. As you can see, there's not a whole lot for them to kind of do. There's a lot of like space on the sides here where we could be putting some fun stuff for them to swing on, jump in, etc. And here is the lower level, kind of boring. You know what's crazy is that I spent a lot of money on that wheel and they've not used it once. I don't know if it is they just don't know how to use it or what, but it just sits there and doesn't get used. Hi, huh, cutie pie. Did you do an Arctic Fox photo shoot the other day? Yes, you did. And thankfully, my rats are actually potty trained. Sometimes there's a little poop down here, but like they're straight up potty trained. They poop in their litter box over there. Go ahead, don't mind me. Where are you going? That's my cutie pie. Ta-da! I just had this ginormous cage delivered. My my garage is literally like tapped out. We're done. Like there's no more space for anything else in here. Yeah, my buns. Breaks your pee in right now, aren't ya? You can tell he's peeing by his little face. <laughs> All right, so I just cleaned out the cage. How cute are these liners? I just got these um, liners from Pet Revolution. Um, I purchased probably like a few hundred dollars worth of liners from her. These are so beautifully made. She did such a great job on these. I'm really, really happy with these. I got some really cool patterns too. I just really like these. Um, underneath it has a layer of the U-Haul material to s absorb. So these are awesome. Now I'm gonna kinda just eyeball this and start figuring out where I wanna place baskets. And next time I do the cage, I'll probably change them around a little bit, but let's get started. So I have these crazy ugly zip ties that don't match anything here. Here are my baskets. I also have this one and usually what you get is you get the dollar store like shower rings and you can attach them together to hang stuff like this but I forgot to get those at the dollar store so I have to do without them this time. They're hanging out in here while we get the cage ready. Say hi boys. <laughs> oh, oh, so. Oh, really? That's really not what I meant. I meant like, like the little ones for jewelry making. Wow, I'm really gonna chop a finger off. So, I wish I had a bunch of like colored fleece that matched this and I would put it in here and put pieces of uh, newspaper in here for them to kind of nest in and whatnot, but I don't have either of those things. So, I do have this bag of rags. You can get like old pillowcases at Goodwill or garage sales and it works really great for this and it also soaks up pee and whatnot in the baskets. Hey, I'm a Okay, oh my gosh, okay, so now I put food pretty much on every single level because data is a bit aggressive. Pet Revolution gave these to me, super sweet, so I'm gonna put some of these in there. This is uh, alfalfa non-GMO hay cubes. I bet you the bunnies would like these too. Look at that over there, two peas in a pod. Oh. Poop machines. Whenever I put this little toy in there for them, it always ends up in their food dish, <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, and then these are organic willow chews. Booze. I'm gonna just scatter these around. So they find them. I'm also gonna grab some treats and hide them around. Ba -ba -da -ba. So I got these treats at Home Goods. They're very weird for dogs because it's like a little bit of fruit. So I'm just gonna They're hide a couple. They're supposed to be dog treats, but the dogs were like, what the hell are these? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the fruit. 
I know. So I'm just gonna hide just a little bit of these. Not too much, because it's a lot of sugar. <laughs> I'm so excited. You guys excited? 